270 years in prison. That sentence handed down just hours ago for a convicted rapist who attacked a woman in her Greenwood apartment. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Connor. I'm Erica Fly. Defendant Sean Corbelly has been unrepentant and unapologetic, but he will likely never live free again. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas is back from the courtroom with today's new developments. Derek? Erica, the prosecutor calls Sean Corbelly a vile, disgusting, evil creature. He said he is the worst of the worst. The judge chastised 34-year-old Sean Corbelly for what he described as a malicious, disturbing, heartless, and insensitive crime. Corbelly had been convicted of two prior rapes, but this latest occurred at the Ashmore Trace Apartments last July. He broke into the victim's home wielding a knife. Uh, put his hand in her mouth and put the knife up against her neck. Um, after that, the knife never left her side, never left her presence, never left being pressed up against the skin. All the while, he's threatening to kill her and kill her one-year-old child sleeping right by. So he has the knife in hand, and he's threatening the victim that he's raping, that he's going to use that knife to chop up her one-year-old kid. It, it's just, it cannot be more offensive or more egregious. The victim submitted a letter to the court in which she told the defendant, you are ashamed to humanity. I will pray to God for you. I will pray that he sends you straight to hell after prison where you belong. Rot in hell. We will not identify the victim, but when the judge sentenced Corbelay to 270 years, she was pleased. Um, I'm very get happy you. with the verdict. You, you are very happy? In the face of what the judge called overwhelming evidence, Corbley continued to maintain his innocence. Did you do this? Are you a monster? No, I did not do this. Why was your DNA on her? When you find his sperm in the victim and you are confident in the, the, the DNA profile matchup, there's no, all, all question is removed. Now, Corbley will appeal the conviction and the sentence. He posed numerous questions to the judge on how to do that. Live in the newsroom, Derek Thomas, RTV6.